Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, Rory, is there a particular shot out on a golf course that makes you uncomfortable? Uh, about every single shot. Um, you know, it's just golf is a, a weird game that it, on any given day, certain things, certain aspects of the game feel more comfortable than others. And then the next day it can be completely the opposite. So uh, you, you never know, but it's, it, it's basically per day what's uh, going on. And is there a golf course that does not host a PGA Tour event that you would love to see an event at that course? Oh, well, yeah, there's a lot of good golf courses. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's any particular one that I'd say uh, is better than any other, but um, yeah, you know, it's just that's I'd say probably you're going to be looking in the Jupiter area for Medalist or Dive Preserve, one of those. Okay, and who do you particularly enjoy playing with on a Thursday or Friday in a tour event? Um, you know what? Uh, ironically enough, uh, I had CT Pan in my final group uh, Sunday at the Olympics, and I always enjoy playing CT. Um, Hideki's always a fantastic guy to play with. Charles Howell. Um, there's there's too many. Uh, amazing guys that play on the tour to just pick two out. All right, perfect. And we'll roll right into the uh, press conference here. It'll be Haley will moderate. We'll be done. Go ahead and say hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey, hi. There you are. Perfect. You guys all set in there? Yep. Ready. Awesome. We would like to ro welcome Rory Sabatini to the virtual media room here at the Wyndham Championship. Welcome. This is your first tournament back since being abroad in Tokyo and bringing back medalist honors. So um, now that you've had time to let that sink in, can you um, give us your general thoughts about that experience? Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, Wow, no, uh, I, it's it's really hard to put into words. Uh, just uh, it was, it was a overwhelming experience. The, the entirety of uh, everything with the Olympics. Um, obviously, as watching as many as I have, you, you really don't truly grasp how amazing the experience is until you're there. And um, it was it was incredible. It every every which way, every part of it was was amazing. And can you speak to being able to have um, your wife on the back for you to share that experience together? Um, actually, uh, that, that was it was fantastic week having her on the bag. Uh, you know, obviously, I know it's not her specialty, but uh, it was a tough week uh, with the temperatures, with everything. So she never once complained about anything. She just kept her head down, kept trucking forward, and uh, no, did a fantastic job. So for us to be able to share the entire experience together was uh, was just absolutely fantastic. And then um, from where did you go? What has the travel experience been like? Did you go from Tokyo then back home or have you had time to recoup and rest since then? Uh, well after the uh, all the media and uh, the ceremony everything after the, the conclusion of play um, by the time we finally made it back to the Olympic, Olympic Village it was 11 o'clock and uh, we went straight to the team room and we, uh, we did a, uh, should I say, a slight overplaying of celebratory uh, features, and um, it was uh, a long night, and uh, we left 7 o'clock the next morning uh, back to Slovakia, so was not much sleep, uh, not much memory, um, but uh, had at least an 11 and a half hour flight to recover. Well, now looking ahead to this week, you'll be making your eighth start, and you've had three top tens here. So can you speak to um, this course and kind of some goals and how your game is coming into this week? Um, you know, obviously, uh, with everything this, this year has entailed, it's, it's been a very frustrating year for me. I felt like I've been on the cusp of getting my game cleaned up and going in the direction I wanted to go. Um, so. You know, it, it's been kind of a, a, a love-hate relationship with my golf game this year. So, uh, kind of started to get things feeling a little bit better. You know, granted I missed my last uh, three cuts, but it, I felt like I was still trending in the right direction. And then um, going into this week, I know this golf course. It's, a, it's just a very traditional golf course. Everything's in front of you. There's no surprises on it. You know, 
it puts a premium of, on driving the ball in the fairway, putting the ball in the greens, but ultimately, you know, you've got to be uh, nice and clean with your short game and uh, good with your uh, flat stick on the greens. So I feel like uh, I kind of got everything kind of firing in the right direction there and um, I just got to kind of let it happen. And 141 in the FedEx Cup, talk about how big this week is for you to try to solidify your position and make a run in the playoffs. Uh, obviously, this is a, a huge week. Um, I've got a, a big job to do. Um, I'm not exactly sure what position I need to finish, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's uh, a minimum of a top 10 um, going into uh, you know, finishing this weekend to get into the playoffs. Uh, so I know I've got, a, I've got a, a tough job. It's a good field, a lot of good players. Um, so I've just got to you know, keep my head down and uh, keep trying to move forward and hopefully make it to next week. I'm going to turn it over now to Shane Ryan with Golf Digest. Hi, Rory. Uh, congrats again on the on the medal. Um, you know, it's such an interesting thing. The story of you becoming a, a citizen of Slovakia was, from an American media perspective, this offbeat, kind of off the beaten path, crazy thing. And then for it to work out and for you to win a silver medal is really one of like, it's almost astounding. And uh, do you feel justified? And do you feel like this process that seemed like a fringe idea um, paid off in such a huge way? Um, well, obviously uh, it has paid off in a huge way, but uh, you know, the entire goal of it was to, one, represent Slovakia, never thinking about the Olympics, but just representing them so that we could, you know, entice, you know, junior golfers and inspire junior golfers. Um, obviously qualifying for the Olympics was a, a huge benefit and then Medal meddling in it was uh, uh, obviously above and beyond. So, you know, the outpouring of support last week uh, when we were back in Slovakia, just the excitement of all these junior golfers and all these new junior golfers, um, it is what we hope for. Uh, you know, just plant that seed, uh, create future generations of golfers, of uh, hopefully professional uh, golfers on all different uh, stages around the world and hopefully future Olympic. Uh, uh, competitors. Did you feel, um, what, what was the response like when you got back to Slovakia? Did you feel the, the love from them? Uh, it, it's, it was absolutely overwhelming. Um, you know, people stopping us in the street everywhere, uh, people pulling their car over the side of the road to stop to congratulate us. It was just, it was incredible. Uh, there's, there's really, it, you could really feel the support, the appreciation, and just all the emotion from uh, the, the people. And here's a question I, I should probably know the answer to, but I don't. Are you eligible to play in the Ryder Cup for Europe? Uh, well, there's there's a technicality that says no, but I am technically able to qualify for the European Ryder Cup team, but I'm also not because I'm not currently a European Tour member. So um, I think obviously down the road that would change, but also at my age, uh, I'm a dinosaur in golf terms. I appreciate it. Thank you. Perfect. That is all the questions we have. We thank you for taking the time to talk with us this week and good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you.